Tracking your performance. This video will take a deep dive into how to set up your tracking for performance. We will cover the value of using Taboola Pixel, what is the Taboola Pixel, setting up your base code, the Taboola Pixel helper, defining your conversions, creating audiences, and finally, server to server capabilities. The value of using the Taboola Pixel. There are many benefits of using the Taboola Pixel. However, before you make an informed decision on whether or not to implement, the first question you should ask yourself is, can we track your KPI? If the answer is yes, then implementing the Pixel will help provide valuable data that will be incremental to the success of your campaigns. The most important service that the Pixel provides is the ability to track multiple valuable touch points within Backstage. In addition to this, there are a few other benefits. Custom audiences, the ability to build a custom audience list for your retargeting campaigns. Smart bid, when launching performance campaigns, tracking conversions with the Taboola Pixel can shorten the learning period for optimizations. Tracking without cookies. More conversions can be captured when cookies are not available. For example, Safari users with intelligent tracking prevention. And it's very easy to implement. We have a special built-in Chrome extension, Google Tag Manager integration, and simple to understand UI makes it a great experience to implement and use. First, let's take a quick look at navigating the dashboard. When you're in your backstage dashboard, on the left-hand side, you'll see a series of menu items. You're going to be looking under the Taboola Pixel section. First, if you look under conversions, you'll find this particular interface. You'll notice you have the option to both create a pixel and create a conversion. If you click on the audience button, you see a similar interface, but you will notice we have already created an audience based on the initial conversion data that you have defined. And then you also have an option to create an audience from the pixel or customer file. Now let's dive into the basics. What is the Taboola Pixel? The Taboola Pixel is a JavaScript snippet that when implemented on your site, allows for deeper understanding of user behavior. Beyond just helping us to identify unique traits of users that engage most with your site, the Pixel also enables you to track conversions, pass back important conversion data like value or order ID, create retargeting pools to target or suppress, and also to leverage the deeper capabilities of our algorithm suite of products. Now let's go ahead and set this up. The first thing you want to look at is the base code. The base code is the foundation of all your pixel learnings. Think of it like an anchor that all your activity is tied to. It's important to be sure that this pixel is placed at the header of every page of your site. Otherwise, we will only be ingesting partial or broken information. So once again, please ensure you add the base code to every page on your site. So to get this set up, the very first thing you need to do is navigate back to that conversion page we showed you on the previous slide and click on Create Pixel. You will then be taken to a page that looks like this. And all you have to do is copy the base code exactly as shown here. We've also made a handy button to easily copy to clickboard. And then step three, you want to verify the implementation. So once it's actually been placed on the header of your page, then the create pixel button will turn into an interface that looks like this. 
and it will tell you whether or not the pixel is active. The Taboola Pixel Helper. The Taboola Pixel Helper is a Chrome extension that allows you to troubleshoot common problems and scenarios when using the Taboola Pixel. It works in the background and scans for conversion, retargeting or new Taboola Pixels and provides real-time feedback on their implementations. The Pixel Helper provides visibility into which of the pixels were implemented on a specific page, an indication on whether that each pixel's implementation was successful and which data was or was not sent back to Taboola. Once the pixel is installed, it's important to understand the pixel status section. We have four potential pixel statuses. Informational, Taboola could not find an old snippet, base code or image tag on the page. Yellow warning, the pixels implemented and firing. However, there are some issues that may affect overall conversion tracking. This is not an error and you will still be able to track conversions, but we do recommend you review your implementation. The most common case that this will occur is when the tag load is delayed on the page. Green means the pixel is firing properly and red. This means that you have some errors that you should fix. Otherwise, you won't be able to use this feature. This requires troubleshooting. You should work with your account manager or contact our support team for more guidance here. You can also find more information on the Pixel setup at our help center. Now that you have your base code placed, you are ready to define your conversions. At the very least, you should define your primary conversion, but we also recommend defining multiple steps in your funnel. Having multiple pages tracked can help you follow a user's journey and see if you can make any key improvements in your messaging or landing pages for increased down funnel conversions. To get started, simply click on Create Pixel from the same conversions page we looked at previously. From there, Decide whether you want to create a URL or event-based code. What are URL and event types? Well, we have URL conditions here and then we have event types available for you to select. Now the URL types are easy to implement and they are great for tracking page views or static landing pages. All you simply need to do is create a condition by which it picks up a portion of the URL string. Now we have event types. Event types do create an additional strip of code to place, so it's a little bit more tricky than the standard URL conversion, but it does offer much more dynamic tracking capabilities. Additionally, event type buttons can be placed on many different sources like video views, page scrolls, or even specific CTAs themselves. Now, once you have the basis of the code set, you just need to define your properties and that's it. This can be considered as general housekeeping, but there are a few special items to consider. First, you have the option to exclude audiences from all campaigns. Let's say, for example, you are running a lead generation or e-commerce campaign and might not want to retarget the same content for users in future campaigns. So we can exclude anyone who has already submitted a form or purchased your product. You can choose to include this in your total conversions. This will be in display of your campaign summary. If you do include them in your total conversions, it will be a primary conversion our algorithm looks towards and it will be all bundled into the same CPA that you're calculating. So if you choose to maybe track an add to cart or entry to a particular funnel, then you may not choose to include this into your total conversions. So what we'll have there is simply tracking data but it won't actually determine how our algorithm optimizes. And finally, you do have the option to add a specific value to calculate ROAS or return on spend. 
Now note that this is a fixed value. If you want to use dynamic marks, there's going to be some checkboxes available for you to do so. If you have an event code set up, it will be generated at the bottom of our page as shown here. Simply copy and paste that to the page where you would like to track conversions. And note, if you are tracking dynamic data like ROAS or order ID, the parameters provided at the bottom will inject a space in the event code for you to do so. You can find out more on this setup in our help center. Once you have placed the base code and defined your conversions, creating audiences is quite simple. Navigate to the audiences link in your dashboard and click on new audience. You will then notice you have two options to upload from pixel or from customer file. If you choose from pixel, you can create targeting pools in the exact same way you created the conversions in the conversions tab. You can also choose from customer file, which will allow you to upload a list of emails, mobile device IDs and zip codes. You can then target that file directly, or you can target up to five lookalike audiences that we will create from that file. However, it is important to note that the lookalike function is only currently available for the US market. Now let's look into server to server capabilities. If you are unable to place the pixel, then we can also track server to server conversions. Now this is an easy way to track things such as mobile app downloads, or if you're using multiple platforms through a single conversion tracking system. The setup involves a simple three step process. Step one is to pass back our click ID macro. Now you include this macro on either the campaign level tracking section or the creative level URL, never both. Step two, you then create a new custom event conversion via the conversion link in your dashboard. The event name shown here on the red arrow should match exactly the event you have defined in your tracking platform. And the final step is to install the postback URL on your tracking platform. The postback will look like this below. Notice the items in all capitals. These will be replaced by steps one and two. That is the parameter used to pass back our click ID and event name you defined in the conversion properties. And that's it. Now, please note that conversion tracking is extremely important for the growth of your campaigns. And without it, we're going to be missing out on key data that is going to help you drive success for your performance. For any further guidance on setting this up, please visit our help center at help.tabula.com. Thank you for listening.